the day that we got the phone call that my daughter had been murdered, I was, I'm sure you've heard this before, but I was in Kentucky. Um, we had a, a grandbaby that had passed away. And um, when I got the phone call, the detectives said, uh, Mrs. Morin, we found your daughter's body. At the time, all I knew was that my daughter was dead. When I went to meet with the detective and we had come back from Kentucky, I was told that she was um, beaten so badly that her body was blanketed in bruises, that she was strangled, that she was raped, and that she was stuffed into a drain pipe. The person that, the person that they alleged did this was an illegal immigrant from El Salvador that was a gotaway. He had already, um, they already had an interval warrant for him in El Salvador for murdering a woman. He had attacked a nine-year-old and her mother in California, and he waited on the trail that day that our family has walked for 25 years and snapped, dragged my daughter off the trail and did these horrendous, brutal things. This is what she looked like before that day. Oops. She's a, she's a beautiful woman, but more than that, you can tell from looking at her just the light that comes out of her. She was a happy person. She loved her children. She was a hard worker. My daughter is like so many other American girls that go about their life and they're just caught unawares from behind, dragged off the main road, trail, whatever, strangled, raped, murdered. Some have been found, some have not. I realized that um, deportation and illegal immigration has become such a big issue. And rightly so. We have Americans that are dying every day. And law enforcement don't want to give you the true numbers because they don't want the public to panic. In our town, we've had two murders by illegal immigrants. Um, we ha Maryland is a sanctuary state, and we have sanctuary cities. I was last told that crime in Maryland has increased by 850% over the last four years. We have 54,000, over 54,000 convicted criminals, illegal immigrants that are criminals in our country at this very moment. I think deportation is necessary. The American people should not feel afraid to live in their own homes.